Dr. Katz, are there things in toothpaste and mouthwash that are potentially harmful for me? What should I be watching out for? Well, about 15 years ago when we started manufacturing our own TheraBreath mouthwash and toothpaste, I was quite surprised about what some companies put into mouthwash and toothpaste. As an example, uh, many toothpaste use an ingredient called sodium lauryl sulfate. That's a fancy term for a four-letter word, which is soap. Uh, it was put into toothpaste about 150, year, 150 years ago uh, as an ingredient in order to make it foam up. Uh, it's not needed. What that actually does is more or less just a uh, marketing tool to create the sudsing effect. What it does, as far as a negative effect, it makes the mouth very dry because it is a soap. Secondly, many studies now show that it can lead to canker sores, you know, those very painful sores you get inside, the, inside your mouth. So if you have a problem with canker sores, we highly recommend you use the TheraBreath toothpaste. Another strange ingredient that's put into mouthwash is alcohol. You don't need alcohol in mouthwash. There's not enough in there to kill bacteria. And secondly, mouthwash, a mouthwash that has alcohol makes your mouth very dry. It's not necessary. It was put in there with the concept that will maybe uh, give a very strong flavor. That's not necessary either. So uh, if you're looking for something that works, you don't need the alcohol, you don't need the detergent, you just need something that works, and that's what TheraBreath is all about.